for the third time in the last couple of weeks. The Blue Devils in general squared off, but this time a trip to the regional title game on the line. Springfield won the first two matchups. They were up 2-0 early after the wild pitch. And to Courtney Chapetta, blooper just over the third baseman's head. That scores one. Springfield held the 2-0 advantage until the fourth. A-Dub down one. Hannah Bunt knocks it up the middle. She finds Grasmore and Curry scores, nodding it up two runs apiece. Now in the sixth, Blue Devils up one after a bases loaded hit by pitch. Generals tie it up again, this time with a dinger. Junior Kennedy Cowan skies the shot to left. The third baseman was the hero from White House. Count Cohen adds another in the eighth. This one clears the fence in left center as well. That's all she wrote. Generals hold on for the 4-3 win. With that, Anthony Waynes headed to the regional championship, thanks in large part to Cohen's hot bat. You know, I was just being patient, being disciplined. Matty Yaki is a really good pitcher, so I had to wait for my pitch and was just um, focusing the whole time. You know, it was just an adrenaline rush. I was just trying to help my team. You know, it, it happened, and I'm glad it did. Tim Clagg had the call of round three and joins us now. Well, it was only fitting that Mother Nature would delay this regional semifinal game between Anthony Wayne and Springfield for an hour. The first two times these teams tried to play, well, it was postponed due to Mother Nature. But she gave us an opening today, and it was certainly worth the wait. Third time proved to be the charm for the Anthony Wayne Lady Generals. And it was the upperclassmen that stepped up in the ball game. Early on, Lauren Curry stepped up, hitting a double in the third inning, and it opened up for Hannah Funt to hit a ball right back up the middle out to straightaway center field to tie this game at two apiece. And then the sixth inning, Kennedy Cohen, Anthony Wayne trailing, leading off the inning, just absolutely crushed a ball out of the park to tie things up at three apiece. But Cohen wasn't done. The junior delivered in the game's biggest moment, top of the eighth inning, same location, leading off the eighth inning for her second home run of the day, and that proved to be the difference maker. It was a one run ball game as the Lady Anthony Wayne Generals are able to knock off Springfield. But Springfield, their season comes to an end at 27 in three. But this is a team we're going to be keeping an eye on in the next couple of years, led by their sophomore pitcher, Maddie Yaki. She pitched a great game, striking out seven. And on the other side pitching, it was another sophomore who came in the ball game in a tough situation. Brooke, Brooklyn Patchen came in from right field in the top of the third inning to replace senior counterpart Lauren Curry. And well, the moment was not too big for her. She delivered as well, pitching seven strikeouts, earning the victory for the Generals. And now they'll play for the regional championship on Saturday back here at Clyde High School as they're able to knock off and extend their season for one more game.